Hey everybody, my name is Todd Dinkelman. I'm on the faculty uh, in the Department of Math, Science, and Social Studies Education, which is the only so named department in all of higher ed, I believe, at the University of Georgia. I'm a social studies person, um, former social studies teacher, uh, uh, been researching social studies, particularly teacher education, over the past 20 years been at Georgia about that long, um, spent some time in the Midwest before then. Chautauqua, you know, I did not know that there were Chautauqua societies. I'm familiar in a general sense with the Chautauqua Big Tent. Um, I'm thinking upstate New York, 1870s, 1880. My interest is, in addition to the common, common good and, and preparing students through the academy is bringing a group of probably master's level uh, or advanced senior level pre-service social studies teachers to work and facilitate the learning and the engagement in the academy. My interest for this group of students is I'm a big advocate of teaching through um, discussion and teaching through dialogue and it's something I've worked for a couple decades helping beginning teachers think about so they can incorporate it in their practice. The um, uh, most powerful ways for future teachers to learn about the power of um, discourse or, or conversation in teaching is to experience it themselves. So uh, the idea would be these pre-service teachers and a few maybe in-service teachers would come and use, we're thinking about the National Issues Forum protocol, um, do some training on that, and then they would descend upon the academy to support the students for that week that we do that, that work. My name is uh, Christopher Riano. I am the president for the nation's Center for Civic Education, uh, which works both uh, around both the country and the world to uh, work within the civic education and then the constitutional education space. Um, and so I've actually been really interested and excited to see some of the work that folks are talking about here, because there's really no question in my mind that we're at a time in, in our history where a civic and constitutional education is really core, no matter what age you are. And unlike so many other different subjects that I celebrate, like math and science, and I certainly do, but civics is the only subject that is actually in every classroom. When I look around the country and I get to see the great work that's happening, um, I'm currently actually in California, I'm usually up in New York, and I get to see everything in between. Um, it's really wonderful to have a chance to see what uh, everybody's trying to put together. And I have to you know, obviously give a great shout out to Peter for bringing me in and looking at this um, from the 50 plus year history that my organization has in ensuring that this information in a nonpartisan fashion is available to give people the tools so that they can have an understanding and be able to have uh, complex conversations about some of the big issues that we are facing as a society. To hear exactly what Todd just talked about, to think about this in a really broad sense, because you know, we are uh, the idea of having both students that are going to be engaged, but of course, students of different ages that can then serve as mentors and, and look at their own learning journey. You know, there's nothing like a civic and constitutional education. And it's one of the reasons why it's very exciting to have a chance as the center to be a, a piece of this puzzle and to, to share in this work that everybody's looking forward to, to getting started. I feel like I am related to all of you and even to you, Christopher, I'm sure if we started dropping some names like Peter Levine, um, you, you look like someone I've seen at the Kettering Foundation before. I'm not sure if you've been there, but um, I connect with Madeline through friends in the community and through the adult education department. I came to Georgia in 1972. <clears throat> I'm old. <laughs> and I taught in the adult education graduate program from 1981 until the year 2000. And so I taught my students some things about Chautauqua because in adult education, we of course feel that the Chautauqua movement was a critical movement in adult education because people were going around the country and as someone earlier said, setting up their tents and trying to teach people all kinds of things 
about our democracy. So my, I think, connection immediately to this project is because Peter Balsamo gets your phone number and your email address and that's it. You're hooked. You're in. And Todd and I, of course, are colleagues, but Todd I really know because my son, who is called, I'm very proud to say, the Director of Innovation in the College of Education, has repeatedly said to me, you must meet Todd. You just have to know him. So I feel connected to all of you. My immediate connection to this project is that I am one of the pioneers, that's what we get called, uh, for the National Issues Forum. So when, the, when David Matthews and people at the Kettering Foundation we're bringing people together in 1981, 40 years ago. We're celebrating our 40th anniversary. Um, I had the opportunity representing adult education to think about how we established the National Issues Forum, which was because of David Matthews, who Christopher is a graduate of Columbia, uh, and became the secretary of HEW during the Ford administration. He felt that, um, I think really coming out of that work and perhaps some of that experience, he had been the president of the University of Alabama before Gerald Ford asked him to serve in the cabinet. David felt that um, the American public was not engaged as they should be in conversations about public policy issues. So I had an opportunity along with many, many, many other people to try to, well, inform one another about how we might create an opportunity to have conversations in the country that engage the public. We really met everyday folks, public. And so I've been at that <laughs> for 40 years. Todd um, has proposed this academy of um, an opportunity for younger students in the Athens area to come together at least for a week. It might be longer, maybe a week or two weeks and he would of course involve some of his students and so i have been having the good fortune with peter and todd to talk about how we prepare people to moderate forums that are deliberative and not debates meaning that people entertain opinions about public policy issues and we really emphasize as much the listening to one another as the speaking. So I'll stop there, but say, you know, that's my, that's how I see my connection to the work. It's kind of, um, perhaps I'll have an opportunity to work with some of Todd's students who will then be working with the younger people in the community around this academy on having good conversations that engage the public in thinking about these critical issues that we all are confronting.